This is a rat. Hello everybody, welcome back to Plain Simple. Today we're going to be looking at this rat. Not a rat as in a mouse, but a rat as in a ram air turbine. This thing here is not a propeller, although it looks like a propeller. It is not a propeller because it does not drive the air. The air drives it. This is an emergency supply, uh, emergency generator for electrical power and hydraulic power for this aircraft, this particular aircraft. Most large jets have something similar to this, a, a, a backup emergency power. In this case, this ram air turbine, meaning ram air because it's mounted to, let's see so you know where this is, this is the nose of the airplane. This is mounted on the right side of the airplane, right by the nose. In the air, if you're having a really bad day, you lose both your engines, the APU is not running, you have no electrical power, you have no hydraulic power, you manually or automatically sometimes deploy the RAT, the ram air turbine. And the speed of the aircraft, the air coming by, spins this up to anywhere from 6800 rpm to 8800 rpm spinning generator providing a backup or emergency electrical power and emergency hydraulic power this hydraulic power will power the flight controls main landing gear nose landing gear and brakes basically the bare minimum you need to still maintain control of the aircraft the speed of the ram air turbine will vary depending on the speed of the aircraft logically the faster the airplane moves the faster this will spin now the output of the generator the electrical electrical power its frequency you want it to be at 400 Hertz which is the power that the aircraft uses focus to regulate the speed of the uh, generator the speed of the turbine is governed it is controlled by a mechanical governor spring-loaded governor that changes the blade pitch the pitch of each one of the two blades and it will automatically adjust that pitch to regulate the speed of the ram air turbine to maintain a constant RPM reg regardless of aircraft speed within within a given range that will assure a constant stable electrical power and hydraulic power from your emergency generator now we're gonna walk inside the cockpit and I'm gonna show you where it gets deployed from inside all right, now we're inside the cockpit. Uh, just so you know what you're looking at, this is the instrument panel looking forward out the windshield. This is the center pedestal. And in here, in the back end of the pedestal, we have the rat and emergency landing gear extension controls. This is landing gear emergency extension. This is the RAT deployment. In case of an emergency, pull this back. And that deploys the RAT from the right side of the nose of the aircraft. This is where you manually deploy the RAT. And then once you have uh, the need for the landing gear and you already have hydraulics from the RAT, you would deploy your landing gear from here. And now we're back outside. We just came from the cockpit. Now we're back outside looking at the rat. Uh, two things that I wanted to mention that uh, just to clear things. This pivots here. This is the hole where it normally lives in the nose of the aircraft. This is where the rat stows into. It's mounted on a pivot here. This whole arm will swivel in and out. 
there's an, an index pin that locks the turbine blades in a certain position so that as it extends from its hole and it encounters the airstream it doesn't start spinning prematurely and hit the side of the aircraft destroy itself bend the blades and become useless uh, there's an index pin that gets that locks the blades uh, until the arm is completely deployed at that point the pin automatically retracts and this is free to spin uh, it cannot you can deploy it from the cockpit while in flight but you cannot stow it once it's deployed it will stay deployed until you land on the ground and uh, maintenance crew mechanics whoever they come over here and lock it back up align it and stow it back manually with the pump. but um, this is it I wanted to show you the emergency electrical and hydraulic power supply on on a jet this is it this is the rat the ram air turbine also sometimes referred to as the adg which is the air driven generator um, hope you liked it see you